The year is 1923. Two teenagers sneak out of their homes in the middle of the night in Florida City. Rumor had it that an old man was building a rock castle by himself. But every time someone tried to see what the old man was doing, he would stop working. The curious teens managed to sneak into Ed's backyard and saw something they could later describe as magic. They recalled seeing rocks moving around like helium balloons. The old man was moving up to 30 tons of stone by himself to build his castle. Even if he didn't allow anyone to see him working, he would proudly talk about it around the town. But whenever people asked how he was building a stone castle all on his own, he simply answered, I cracked the secret of the pyramids. This story begins in Latvia, Edward Liedskalnin's home country. Edward was born in a small village on January 12, 1887. He was born in a family of stonemasons, which is probably where he learned ancient techniques of building. However, he grew up as a sickly boy, which meant he could never carry much weight or undergo heavy physical activity. At the age of 26, an unfortunate turn of events determined Ed's fate. The love of his life broke off their engagement and heartbroken Ed decided to move to the United States. He lived in a couple of American states before finally moving to Florida, where his life's adventure started. Ed spent years searching for the right spot of land to build his dream house. He always rejected good farmland. When people wondered why, he only smiled. Finally, when he bought land of his own, it was deemed terrible by his close friends. The soil was bedrock. He could neither plow nor farm it, but it seemed perfect for what he was seeking to build. Ed's close friends would often describe him as eccentric. When asked why he wanted to build a house, he would only say, it's for my sweet 16. Someday she's coming back. Then he changed the topic of the conversation. It took Ed about 30 years to finish Coral Castle, and he did it all by himself. He would only work under the cloak of night and never, never let anyone see what he was doing. The completed coral castle embodies a number of unsolved mysteries. If you were to visit the site back then, you'd have to go through a 9-ton, 8-foot-tall revolving gate door that even a kid could push with just one finger. Ed was so proud of this door that he originally named the site Rock Gate Park. It was renamed Coral Castle only much later, after Ed's passing. Once inside, visitors would access the incredible wonders of Ed's constructions. Towers, mystic symbols, furniture, and swing sets, all made entirely of monolithic blocks of stone. The stones are set on top of each other, using only their weight to keep them together. And believe it or not, the entire park gathers around 1,100 tons of stone. Today, if you visit Ed's living quarters, you'll even see the simple instruments he used to construct all of this. Chisels, hammers, ropes, and pulleys. The type of work he did is difficult even with modern day equipment, let alone without it. Coral Castle's main mystery lies in how Ed managed to do it. The only photograph of Ed Liedskalnin at work shows a simple leverage structure of a chain hoist attached to a wooden tripod. The tripod was made of old telephone poles with a small wooden box on top. What was in the box is, of course, a mystery. Unfortunately, he took his secrets with him, not sharing the truth of his work with anyone else. Yet, not all is lost as there are many theories and speculation surrounding what could have happened there. One theory says that there is a harmonic grid inside the Earth's surface, something that would create anti-gravity spots around the globe. It's believed that Coral Castle was built in such a spot. This could explain why it took Ed so long to find land that pleased him. Maybe what he was looking for was a place that allowed him to experiment with anti-gravity forces. Yet, whenever Ed talked about his work, he would say he understood the laws of weight and leverage and, sure thing, that he had cracked the secret of the pyramid builders. And what secret is that, you might ask? According to Ed himself, it has to do with magnetism. 
He even published a pamphlet called Magnetic Current. There, he explains that every object has magnetic particles inside of them. A person just needs to understand where they are located inside such objects. This way, objects can be lifted and moved around without much effort, just like moving something heavy underwater. Researchers say that if we assume Ed Lietzkelnen and the pyramid builders used the same technique, then it would only have taken 4,700 workers to build the Great Pyramid of Giza, instead of the 20,000 to 100,000 that is currently estimated. But this story just keeps on getting more and more mysterious. In the late 1920s, Ed was finishing the construction of Coral Castle in Florida City. Rumors about his work had spread around town. People said Ed was hiding a stash of money somewhere in his living quarters. One night, a group of men waited until Ed was alone and broke into the castle to rob him. They couldn't find the money and luckily didn't harm Ed. But in the following days, he decided that it was best he moved out of that land. Of course, he took more than his toothbrush along with him. Ed decided to move the entire coral castle to another land 10 kilometers away from where he had built the park. Legend says he hired a truck driver and asked him to swear secrecy about what Ed intended to do. He asked the driver to look away while Ed loaded the truck by himself, moving all of the rocks without any help. With the truck loaded, Ed and his castle moved to Homestead, Florida, where the park is located until this day. In 1986, a group of engineers from Florida University was called to try to fix the park's gate entrance, the nine-ton revolving door that Ed was so proud of. They arrived with plenty of modern-day equipment, including a 20-ton crane. When the engineers took the door down, they noticed that Ed had used a strange circular stone at the bottom of the revolving door. The engineers couldn't understand how this frisbee-sized rock could withstand nine tons of weight without breaking into pieces. They sent the rock to the geology department at the University of Florida, but the geologists simply returned the rock, saying they couldn't find a match of this rock in their databases. They couldn't determine its origin. The engineers put the nine-ton gate back into place, trying to use other techniques. At first, it didn't work without the base rock Ed had originally used. So, they had to cut the gate rock to make it work as a revolving door once again, proving that modern-day technology couldn't replicate what Ed had done single-handedly. Fast forward to 2011, and another man claimed to have cracked the code of the pyramid builders and Ed Lietzkelnen himself. Wally Wallington, a retired construction worker from Lapeer County, Michigan, has managed to build using similar techniques to those used by Ed. Wallington is known for having built his personal Stonehenge in Michigan. He is said to have used simple machines such as levers and counterweights, moving around multi-thousand pound concrete blocks. Unlike Ed, Wallington has shared his techniques with the public. Multiple videos are showing the clever engineering he built from very simple materials. It sure is impressive. The man has moved his entire barn into another property just with the help of simple tools. However, there is no way to prove that these were the same techniques used to build Coral Castle. To this day, the secrets of Coral Castle haven't been unraveled. But hey, we can always keep trying to solve it. That's it for today. So hey, if you pacified your curiosity, then give the video a like and share it with your friends. Or if you want more, just click on these videos and stay on the bright side.